Hey everyone, it's Dr. Gamer here. Welcome back to Sonic 3 Air. We are now in Ice Cup Zone. Um, <laughs> as you can see, Sonic is snowboarding down this hill. Uh, I just finished the previous episode, so I just quickly stopped recording and started a new one. Uh, because these, these are two separate videos, as I've said. So, um, yeah. Also, we're going to do this bonus stage here. These. Ideally, I like to get the. Um, if I'm in ice cap zone, I ideally I like to get the lightning shield, like there, for example. No, nope, can't get those. <laughs> Dang it. All right. So, fun fact. Um, not too long ago, I think I managed to get 999 rings just by doing like the um, bonus stages and all that. Because I think I got really lucky with the um, bonus stages, so I kept getting this one. And um, obviously, if you played that bonus stage before, you would know that the uh, ring call, or like the ring item in that, book gives you more rings each time. So I think it goes like 10, 20, 40, 80, and then 100. I'm trying to get this big ring, hang on. There we go. <laughs> so yeah. You can also use this as a guide as well as uh, locate the as to you know locate the big rings and all that if you're trying to find all of them. I don't know all of the locations, but I just know like where most of them are. Right, pull down here. Yeah, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's see how many rings we can rack up. Uh, definitely get that. Oh, we can. Don't mind. See, so yeah, ideally, I like to try and see how many rings I can get in total before the end before the end of the level. And grab that. There we go. That's gonna come up. There we go. So yeah, I think I did crack, like get up, uh, up to 999 rings, and that was without debug mode, and that was just doing these bonus stages and getting really lucky. Uh oh, the thing is rising. Quickly get out of here. <laughs> All right, we're good. So yeah, we've got 467 rings, and then obviously there's the big rings in the levels that we can collect. All right, tails don't. I was gonna say tails don't jump, but you still did it. <laughs> so yeah, supersonic or actually no, hypersonic with the drop dash, as well as the light dash is without a doubt broken as heck. Because hypersonic was broken already, like with the light dash and that, but when you have hypersonic, the light dash, and the drop dash, you're just asking to break the game at that point. You're just like, yep. But yep, again, we got lucky with this, so we're going to be able to get some more rings. I'm, I'm just doing these just to keep the video a little bit longer, rather than just like under 10 minutes or so. Okay, I'm not going to worry about that, that's fine. Uh, yep, there we go. See, so yeah, I'm just trying to keep these videos a little bit long, rather than just like under 10 minutes. Oh wow, we actually got that. <laughs> See, 
So yeah, in this video and the previous one that you've watched, or haven't watched yet, um, I was, uh, I'm gonna put the link to this add-on in the description, so that if you guys want to try it out, you can. And look at that, 643 rings. Nice. 2 minutes and 29 seconds. Not bad. And uh, something I forgot to, to mention is that you can actually skip the results screen, or you can like hold down the button to like speed it up, which is really neat. Because you know, say for example, you've got like a really high score and you don't want to, you don't want to like sit through it and just wait for it to like count down. You can just hold the jump button and then, or just whichever button it is you jump with, and then just, or rather the select button, not the jump button. <laughs> Oh, come on. I can get up there. Alright, I'll just go here for now and then. Yeah. So, yeah, let me, down, let me know down in the comments below what is your favourite Sonic 3 and Knuckles stage? Or if you don't have any favourite Sonic 3 and Knuckles stages, what's your favourite um, Classic Sonic stage throughout the Classic Sonic series? I said um, in the first Sonic 3 Air video that um, my favourite is Ice Cap, the one we're in now. And um, yeah, it's, cause, it's, it's because, like I said, it's the first level, or the first snow level, um, before Sonic Unleashed. So I'm pretty sure that has a snow level. Almost there, come on. Alright, nice. So now we are, here we are on the boss fight. Pretty simple. If you're playing this without Supersonic, all you gotta do is you jump on that pl uh, platform, but there will be like a pattern of when Eggman fires out cold air in the machine. So you just want to watch the pattern and then jump on the platform when you can. And then, yeah. <laughs> right, and that's Ice Cap Act 2 done. All we've got now is uh, launch base, and then that'll be the end of the video. So yeah, we're, we don't have to do the special stages until Mushroom Hill, so that's after this. That's in the beginning of the Sonic and Knuckles portion of the game. The reason I'm going this way is because there is uh, a big ring here. Us I usually like to get that just so I can turn super quickly. Because <laughs> there are quite a few death traps that are very, that are very, very annoying. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Again, sorry if I don't commentate at times, I'm just uh, concentrating or I haven't really got anything to say, so I'm just like, uh, yep. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Actually, think about it now. Um, when you play through this game as Knuckles, um, 
you can actually play with you can play as Knuckles with Tails, so you can have Tails with you as you play as Knuckles. And you can actually use Tails to airlift you to places, so if you can't climb up to a certain place, you can just use Tails. Which is really neat. Uh, neat. So yeah, again, I hope you guys are having a good day. Uh, there might be a stream later on today as well. When this, um, well, when these two videos go up. So, I might set them as both premieres at like certain times. And uh, yeah, we're approaching the end of Act 1. Uh, as you can see, Knuckles has just blown the place to smithereens and is now falling apart. And uh, we're going to do this bonus stage quickly. Just for the sake of the uh, video length, so that it's not short. And I can get myself, to cut, uh, myself a couple extra rings. Get this. Yep, worth it. It's worth it if you go for those two as well, because there is a possibility of, um, of you getting rings. So just keep that in mind if you're looking to get just as many rings as I can. And uh, yeah. So as you can see, I'm at 55 lives, which is more than enough. Well, it's now 56, but again, more than enough. And here we are at the boss fight. Usually you see Eggman run away, but because we went into the bonus stage, that did not happen. Now we can just cheese this boss fight. Oops, oops. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Alright, we completed it in 308. Not bad. <laughs> Now we're moving on to Act 2. So I think there is a big ring down here. Yeah, this is a secret passage and then get that and then boom. But yeah, I really do hope they add like more like content into Sonic Origins, like the classic collection. Rather than just like making the games widescreen and then just adding them to the collection and being like, yep. Right, we'll do this one again. So it would, it would be fun to see like some challenges that you can do or uh, get some unlockables or whatever. Because I think as well, on the Sega Ages version of Sonic 1 and 2 for the Switch, there was an option where you could play through the entire game as Super, uh, Super Sonic. So, if they can do something like that for Sonic Origins, and like more, that would be like cool and stuff, like with challenges, or like beat a certain, or beat a level within a certain length of time, or a certain amount of time. Because it just adds more to the collection then, rather than just adding them to, you know, the platforms and they're like, yep, people can now buy it. Uh, yes, this way. jump down here because we have the fire shield so we don't need to worry about not taking damage because we are protected. Oh I need to hit the thing, yeah. 
There you go. Actually, no, I want to skip this part. I believe there is another big ring. Uh, up here, I think? Yeah. Yeah, because then you go through this and then bam. I was gonna do that if it was the um, white and red stars, but it wasn't, so. Oh, see you, Tails. <laughs> ah, they made it so that he doesn't die this time, so he doesn't just like walk off the edge and be like, yep, I'm doing that today. <laughs> Here we approach Knuckles, he tries to punch us, he laughs and then just falls. Karma at his finest. <laughs> so I, I, I like how they brought back like the whole thing where Sonic's just in Eggman's like Eggmo Eggmobile in uh, Sonic Mania with like um, Hydrocity um, Act 2's boss. And given a taste of egg, uh, given a given a taste of Eggman's own meth. I don't know what I'm saying. Anymore. <laughs> Basically, uh, given Eggman payback for for what he's done to us in the past. Uh, did I? Oh, I think I did. Okay, so another thing. I think I enabled the Big Arms boss fight because originally in Sonic Three you would have to fight Big Arm. So I, th I think it was enabled already, so yeah, we get to fight Big Arm as well. And Tails is actually here with us, so this is quite a... Quite a uh... Oh, dang it. Wait, am I going to take down? Oh no, that's in Sonic 3, okay. <laughs> right, I think he's like one more hit away and then we're done. Or is it two more? Okay, it might be two more, so... Well, one more now, but you know what I mean. There you go, see? It hits, like, all the other previous boss fights. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Sonic 3 Part 1 done. So, the first half of the game done. So, within the next episode, and going forward, we'll be going through the Sonic & Knuckles portion. But, yeah. Um, again, just want to say uh, thank you for watching both this vid and the previous vid. Um, and again, let me know what your favourite Sonic and Knuckle, Sonic 3 and Knuckles stages. But if you don't have a Sonic Fritz favourite Sonic 3 and Knuckles stage, let me know what your favourite classic Sonic stages in any other games. And uh, yeah, with that said, I want to say thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one.